Section 2, creating your dirt map in ZBrush. So when that's exported, we fire up ZBrush. Remember, I've only got 2.0. I might upgrade soon. ZBrush is good. It's worth, worth looking at. As I say, there are open source and cheaper alternatives. I'll find these in my blog. What we want to do is import 3D Mesh in the bar, the menu bar on texture at the top. ZBrush can be quite confusing after the first few turns when you're used to Max. So we've got the menu bar, just to go over it again. Import texture, import. Go to where the OBJ file was exported. Now we've got it on a desktop, it's picked up. Click on that and open. We draw it and we have the barrel. The barrel now is in ZBrush. We have to create a texture now. So with width and height in the texture menu bar, we have to go to a texture width size before we create a new texture. I'm going with 1024, which is actually quite small in this day and age. But a few, even a few years back, two years ago, this was a fairly large texture. The texture has to be the same width and height. And that's very important, especially if you're doing real-time work. So go to new, new texture, and that's how we create a texture, a new texture. And as you see on the left hand side, it's created that. So now we're going to use the really useful tool called Projection Master, which is in the top left side of the screen. Here we go, Projection Master. And now it opens a new screen panel, Projection Master. Click to double sided for this instance and off click fade. The checker ball here shows what happens, gives you an idea of what happens. We want to make the entire barrel a sort of industrial orangey yellow. So on the color swatcher, we change the color, the color thing, we change to the color we want. Mix and match, test out to see what it looks like. Get your brush size really big for this first instance. Click left and it will go orange. The orange color that we made, we picked the color. If you want to change the color a bit, do some tweaking. And there we go. That's a pretty nice industrial yellow barrel color that you get in games, etc, etc. Click Projection Master and pick up now. And the magic thing is because we did it on two sided without fade, the paint, has, if you imagine it as paint, it's gone through to the other side and it's all a uniform yellow color that we can now see in the texture as well. And that's what Projection Master does. It's a great way to paint onto your 3D objects with a good range of painting tools. Again, click on Projection Master, but this time we take off the double-sided. We only, and put it on fade and take off double-sided. We only want it on one side because if you paint it on both sides, double-sided, the it will repeat what we're doing on one side. This is more of a detailed spray painting job if you want to think it like that. Change the color to a mud brown or anything you want. This is going to be our dirt, suggestion of dirt color. Take the brush down, change the alpha mask to a dot mask such as that, and put it onto spray. Put the setting onto spray. Change, take the RGB intensity down. 
and start... You can't really see this, but... So we'll take the color down a bit, and let's boost the RGB up. This time you should, when I click, you should be able to see some paint, brownish paint, going onto the barrel. There you can see. It's quite hard, I agree, because the red dot is on my screen capture software, but as the dot goes away, you can see a nice brownish dirt color coming up. So this is a good way, as you can see, take, take the projection master off and turn the barrel around. Repeat the step and paint away. It's nice, it's like spraying a model or even painting something in a picture and you've got really good controls. And remember the settings when you want to do the painting. Just keep dragging, pick up, turn the barrel and just repeat this process. And as you can see, the barrel is now looking quite dirty. Paint the top. And the bottom. And there's some really good texture books out there. I'll try and write some down on the list on my blog or on my site as the resource section. About how to think and the way to create textures. And that's for real p texture gurus that really want to go into textures. There's a lot of really good effects you can cause, but this is just really suggesting a texture. It could be a scene where this barrel's far off or it's not the main part of the scene in either a real time or a um, pre-rendered level. And as you can see, I've changed the color now and it's a sort of gray dust. Again, quite industrial or ap apocalyptic. keep dragging. So again, it's just this process. Pick up Projection Master, put it down, pick up, rotate the barrel, put it down, make sure the settings are always there with the double-sided off and fade on. Because fade will fade the edges rather than making it ju just straight and look dirty. And you can use, uh, there's loads of other tools like Highlighter Brush. That gives a nice, a really nice highlighter effect. Looks like it's only been burned off or blasted off, or just sun faded. You know, you get especially metallic paint and plastics if you leave them out in the sun. If you look on a lot of marine ships and oil rigs, that you can get these similar effects. So it's all just a process of making the user or the the viewer more more at home with computer graphics rather than them looking very clean and sterile, and therefore dare I say unrealistic even if they are really good models adding a bit of dirt on is fine just got the process again all things in real life have some dirt or scratches even a new car or a new boat has dirt or scratches on them not as much as this I, obviously, obviously I don't think anyone would buy anything with this so then we, now we're going to export the texture. Just go to export, make sure that texture is selected, take it to the folder you want, bitmap, only exports as a bitmap, um, and then type in what you want. It, is, it exports as a Photoshop PSD file as well. So type in barrel, and there you go, it's exported. End of section two, please go to section three.